Maynam is an extremely shy and insecure teenage girl who wears a box over her head at all times. She suffers from a strange condition that causes her to hate her own face, she genuinely believes that she is the ugliest person to exist on the planet and has to be hidden from people. In fact she hasn't looked at herself in the mirror for over three years and has not stepped outside the house. Maynam lives with her brother Plawan and her father Mr. Bon who are always worried about her. One evening Plawan returns home with a bruised elbow and admits to shoplifting. To save himself from getting in trouble he diverts his father's attention to his sister being a total psycho because of her condition. Maynam also gets frequent panic attacks and has difficulty breathing when she is anxious. Pluin's comment hurts her and making it difficult for her to breathe, Mr. Bon who has gotten used to her reactions over the past years helps her calm down. Maynam then narrates the story of her life in her blog about how she became an ugly duckling. It may be surprising to people that for the first 13 years of her life Maynam was like any normal person. She had friends a social life and was confident about herself but then in middle school she fell in love with the most handsome boy in her class. She was so head over heels for him that one day she confessed her love in front of everyone, however to her dismay the boy did not reciprocate her feelings instead he threw her gift to the ground and called her the ugliest girl ever. He even asked her to wear a bag over her head declaring her face to be a jump scare. All of her classmates followed the guy's lead and called her ugly, the incident was so traumatizing for the poor girl that she shut out from everyone around her and refused to go to school again. Mr. Bond tried his best to convince her otherwise but upon realizing that she is facing a real problem he let her get home shawled. After the incident Maynam didn't look at herself in the mirror for a year and didn't go outside at all. Until one day she was outside the house trying to retrieve a stuck balloon a stranger approached and offered her help. Maynam immediately put a paper bag over her head to hide her face, at that moment she realized that the most confident she feels is when her face is covered. The position of the bag felt just right almost as if she had found her soulmate and hence since that day she has never shown her face to anyone, eventually the bag turned into a box because it was more sturdy. Her family gets a glimpse of her face sometimes but Maynam prefers to stay hidden even from them, she hardly allows herself to look into the mirror. Maynam enjoys most of her time by anonymously talking to people on social media. She feels more happy in online place since no one can see each other's faces. The next day Mr. Bond goes to her doctor and asks for an instant cure for her sickness, the doctor clarifies that Maynam is not sick she has a strange condition famously known as hikikomori in Japan. It mainly affects adolescents or young adults who live isolated from the world locked in their bedroom for days months or even years refusing to communicate with anyone. According to the Dr. Maynam's case is not that serious because she still talks to her family which means she has a chance of socializing with other people if she is forced to go out. Her only problem is that she is scared, the doctor advises Mr. Bond to get his daughter out before she cuts off her family as well. At dinner Maynam uses a straw to eat refusing to take the box off. Mr. Bond asks his children to listen to him carefully the siblings do not let him talk and assume either he has cancer or he is a gay. Mr. Bond puts down both claims and reveals that he wants Maynam to go to school with her brother starting tomorrow. Maynam thinks he is joking and retaliates as he had expected but this time Mr. Bond doesn't give in to her stubbornness and is adamant about his decision, even Plawin is surprised by his father's persistence. Maynam declares that she hates him and storms off to her room, she cries for the next hour and was nervous about tomorrow, she is certain that everyone will bully her for the box, still she prefers being bullied into being called ugly. To make her feel better Plawin brings her a new box to replace the old one and offers to help her decorate it. Following that she takes off the box for the first time and reveals her face that is anything but ugly. Plowen assures her that he won't let people make fun of her. But it doesn't make her feel better. Then the siblings decorate the new box for Mei Nom. The following morning Mr. Bon drives his children to school while Plowen gets out of the car and walks in Mei Nom starts to hyperventilate under the box. Mr. Bon plays calming music to help her and motivates her to go in. Maynam apologizes for saying mean things to him last night and thanks him for trying to help her. As soon as she leaves Mr. Bon also breaks down crying worried for his daughter. Maynam holds her breath and finally walks into the school, the big bright box on her head does not go unnoticed everyone starts to point at her and whisper which makes her panic even more, their laughs remind her of the day she was humiliated all those years ago, Maynam gets dizzy and is about to pass out but a guy comes to help her right on time. 
He also has a helmet on, which makes her feel a bit better the guy introduces himself as Minton but she gets nervous and runs away, while she is at it she accidentally bumps into the school's most popular guy Zero, he and his group of friends ask her to take the box off curious about her looks, when Maynum refuses to do so they surround her and try forcing it off. They are stopped by Minton who takes off his helmet and reveals his face, Zero and Minton stare at each other in anger and decide to solve the conflict outside school. Minton then holds Maynum's hand and takes her away. In the following scene she is nervously standing in front of the class the teacher has been told about her condition so she requests the students to respect her privacy but being typical teenagers they start to bully her urging her to show them her face. Minton is also in the same class and is angered by his classmates behavior, Maynum quietly walks to the last seat and stays with her head down most of the time. During the lunch break she goes to the cafeteria looking for her brother but cannot find him anywhere, the students do not stop staring and talking about her, a pair of guys see her eating with the box on her head and force her to take it off. Everyone sees them bullying her but laughs instead of helping. Eventually Maynum leaves her food unfinished and runs outside crying, when she is alone in the playground Minton suddenly appears beside her. He is wearing a helmet which she thinks is to mock her for her box. Minton clarifies that he just likes the way he looks with the helmet, he then shares his sandwich with her because she couldn't eat earlier. Maynum feels a lot more comfortable talking to him, after that they joke around and laugh but then she says that she won't be coming to school the next day, Minton declares that he is her friend and urges her to come even if it's only for him. After school Minton and the bully Zero meet as they had promised they get into a verbal altercation because of their differences. Minton insults Zero for always walking around with his minions and challenges him to a one-on-one -on -one fight, Zero takes it and steps forward after asking his friends to stay back, Minton lands the first punch but Zero fights back with an equally powerful blow, Maynum is making her way back home when she witnesses them wrestling, suddenly the police arrive and the guys have to separate, Zero sees her on his way out and pulls her along with him, after running off to a quiet area he forces the box off her head, in a climactic scene he lays eyes upon her face and is left speechless at the sight but Maynum thinks that he is staring at her because she is ugly the memories of her past trauma keep playing in her head and she passes out. When Maynum finally wakes up she finds herself in the hospital bed without her box she immediately starts to panic and has to be given a face mask to calm down. Her father is very sorry that he forced her to go to school he blames himself for getting her hospitalized and allows her to stay home. To everyone's surprise Maynum declares that she wants to return to school only because she wants to take revenge on Zero for forcing her to take the box off. The following day Zero is on his way thinking about Maynum, he is confused as to why she would cover up her face when she is so beautiful, just then Maynum arrives and slaps him in the face for what he did yesterday, when his minions try to get close to her, Zero stops them he yet again tries to take her face mask off but is stopped by Mint and they get into another fight because of her, but she stops them, and brings them aside. By now news about the two handsome guys fighting for the box head girl has circulated around the school, Maynum yells at the guys for making her life even more difficult, when Minton says he only wanted to help her, Zero laughs he is sure that Minton is attracted to her like he is. Minton also senses that Zero is trying to get with Maynum and asks him if it is true, at first Zero denies it, calling Maynum ugly, the comment reminds her of her trauma and makes her fall unconscious again. Minton helps her while Zero is left behind jealous. The next day Maynum goes back to her insecure phase she refuses to come out of her room or talk to anyone. Mr. Bon and Pluin are discussing what they can do to help her when someone calls them from outside their house, Zero has come to apologize to Maynum for his mistake but Pluin refuses to let him in accusing him of sending Maynum back to the spiral of depression. The next morning Minton comes to cheer her up but she refuses to let him inside her room, upon his repeated request she wears a face mask and meets him to her surprise he has made a duck box that she can use to cover her face. Maynum cannot help but burst out laughing at the sight, he has also made a duck helmet for himself, they wear their respective headgear and started a band called Daft Punk, while eating together Minton promises to take care of her and convinces her to come back to school. The next morning he drives her to school with him, when Maynum is alone Zero approaches her and tries to apologize but Pluin disturbs them and sends him away, later during class a girl named Ozone approaches Maynum and asks her for a favor, it turns out that a rumor about Maynum and Zero dating has been circulating around the school since he might listen to her Ozone wants Maynum to stop him from bullying people. 
Maynum denies having anything to do with him and storms away, even during the lunch break a crowd of people ask her for similar favors but she turns them down, but then she is informed that Zero is beating up her brother, on running to check up on him she finds Zero's friends beating him to the ground, Zero makes them stop and claims that Pluin started the fight. A furious Maynum calls him out for being a thief who bullies weak students for money and homework, Zero looks at his minions in disbelief because he had ordered them to never bully someone weaker than them. When Maynum asks him to stop hurting people he in turn urges her to take her box off, if she does so he promises to never use violence for personal gain. With no other way to help everyone Maynum takes the box off and reveals her face. Everyone is shocked at the sight later she hugs Minton crying that everyone saw her today. He is surprised to see her for the first time but focuses on calming her instead. Later at home Pluin shows her all the comments under a picture someone posted of her, although the comments are positive it doesn't convince Maynum that she is beautiful. Then she enters her room and sees the window open, Zero appears out of nowhere and asks her to be quiet, he apologizes for calling her ugly and admits that she is in fact the most beautiful girl he has ever seen, after he leaves his words keep on repeating in Maynum's mind. She asks her internet friend to look at a picture of her on the school's page, when the friend gushes about how cute she looks, Maynum finally realizes that they must be telling the truth. And for the first time in more than three years she brings out a mirror and discovers that she is actually beautiful. She almost does not believe her eyes, the following day Maynum goes to school without the box all the students stare at her and gossip but this time they are not making fun of her but are rather admiring her beauty. Maynum is now ready to start a new life with confidence she never had before.